Well, good morning, class. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of creating an APA style table. If you look in your textbook, you will see an outline in anatomy um, defining for you what the different parts of an APA style table should contain. Now, the purpose of tables and figures and documents is to enhance your reader's understanding of the information in the document. The word processing software that you probably use will allow you to create your own tables and figures. So this is very, very easy to do. And if you want to go to see more examples, you can click on, uh, not click, but you can go to the link listed uh, here. Now, in your textbook, you have this document and it shows you all the different parts of your APA style table. Now, typically when you run SPSS and you have your cross tab uh, output. That is the information. Those are the numbers that you are going to insert into your APA style table. So this is what the raw SPS data will look like. What you're, what you're aiming for, what you want to do is clean it up a bit so you'll have a very easy to read and comprehend table that you can insert into your paper, your document, or your poster so people will understand what you're talking about. Now here are the two items side by side. If you look at, for example, the respondents age group by their attitude, if you see in that first column in that first cell, the 76.9%, and then you look at the APA style table, you see that is where you put to 76.9 percent. It's just that easy. So once again, let me review. This is what your SPSS cross tab output would look like. This is what you're trying to get it to ultimately look like to be presentable in your paper or your poster. And here are the two items side by side. So you can see where you're getting the numbers from in order to create your APA style table. It's really simple. Don't make it harder than it is. I know a lot a lot of times some people see a whole bunch of numbers on a page and it gets very confusing but once again that's why you create APA style tables so people can read and understand what you're trying to communicate very easily and remember if you have questions please ask